Hello and welcome to another Crafternoon to Go program from Westerly Library in Wilcox Park. This month, in celebration of the start of winter, we are making solstice lanterns. As always, if you signed up for our Crafternoon to Go program, you should have received a kit with almost everything you need to complete the project. If you didn't receive a kit, you can still follow the tutorial at home after purchasing a few materials. Each kit comes with five pieces of white tissue paper, about a half a cup of glue, a foot of wire, one balloon, and a tea light. In addition to the supplies in your kit, you will also need a bowl to put the glue in, scissors, a half a cup of water. You may also want a sponge brush or a paintbrush, though I personally found that it was much easier to use my fingers for this project. And finally, some dried leaves or flowers to decorate your lantern. Now that you have everything you need, we can get started. Our first step is to set things up and prepare our materials. Blow up your balloon to the desired size. I wouldn't recommend you blow it up larger than about eight or nine inches in diameter. Any larger than that and you might not have enough tissue paper to cover it. Next, add equal parts of glue and water to a bowl and mix until combined. Finally, rip up your tissue paper into pieces a little bit smaller than your palm. Avoid the temptation to use larger pieces as they're much more difficult to work with. At this point, you might wanna cover your work surface with newspaper because things are about to get a little bit messy. Our next step is to begin applying layers of tissue paper. Hold your balloon by the knot using your non-dominant hand. With the other hand, or a paintbrush if you prefer, paint the glue mixture about halfway up the balloon. Begin adding pieces of tissue paper to the balloon and paint over each piece with more glue. If you're using your hand, which I recommend, to apply the glue, you can sort of tap the pieces of tissue paper so that it sticks to your hand and then just transfer it to the balloon. Continue to go around the balloon until you have three or four layers of tissue paper. Now put your balloon somewhere safe to dry. You can balance it upside down on a cup or a vase as I have, or tie a string to the end and suspend it over a broom or something to dry upside down. Once the layers have dried, it's time to add your greenery to embellish the lantern. Dried leaves, ferns, or small flowers work well here. If you want, you can quickly dry out flowers by sandwiching them between two sheets of parchment paper and carefully ironing them. Carefully adhere them to the balloon on top of the layers of tissue paper with glue. Then add another layer of tissue paper on top. Once again, allow the tissue paper to dry completely. This could take up to a day. If you're impatient or you want to expedite the process, you can always use a hair dryer to help. Now it's time to pop our balloon and remove the lantern. Using scissors or a pin, carefully make a small hole in the balloon near the tie. You want to slowly let the air out. If you pop the balloon, the whole project could fall apart. As you let the air out, carefully peel the paper mache away from the balloon. Now make two small holes at opposite sides of the lantern. Feed the ends of your wire through each hole and then fold it over to secure. Add your tea light and with that, you are done. We hope you enjoyed your Crafternoon to Go program. As always, feel free to reach out to us with any questions, comments, or feedback. Call us at 401-596-2877, extension 306, or email us at reference at westerlylibrary.org.